there was a clear feeling in the room um, which I think was articulated, you know, perhaps it had been bubbling away, but I think it was kind of crystallised at the end, you know, about that collective campaigning, a collective voice around direct payments that was led by recipients, you know, of, you know, whether that be disabled people, you know, parents of disabled children, carers. So I think there was a sense of a movement around having um, a strong voice around as direct payments users to spread the word of around direct payments to empower other people who are eligible. Um, there was also a note of caution struck um, that it, direct payments shouldn't be seen as a cheap way of delivering services. It can be a cost effective way, you can maximise resources, but it should never be used to um, drive down <laughs> um, social care support. Um, so that, that was a kind of a note of caution, but also a message you know, out there that this isn't social care on the cheap. Um, it still needs to be resourced, people need to be supported um, and that doesn't, you know, just, it shouldn't, people shouldn't be left to their own, you know, themselves to have to do that.